Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a PSD file uh, for Microsoft Outlook 2021, or shall we say personal storage table, which is a shortcut for PSD. Uh, this is great for organizing and archiving your emails, contacts and more. So let's dive right into it. So for example, you already have, I presume you already have Microsoft Outlook, uh, either it's 2021 or 2019 or 16 yeah i believe it's all the same um in this version of 2021 you have a ribbon here um maybe in the other ones i believe you do but they're slightly uh items and icons are moved around that's what they usually do in when they upgrade microsoft outlooks and things like that so for example if you can't see that ribbon there uh you just go on an empty space here right click and use classic ribbon this will bring up that classic ribbon uh, icons and everything there. It's much more easier to work with, I believe. In my case, it is. So you have your email there on your left hand side. I created, for example, two folders. I'll show you why I've done it because the, I'm going to show you uh, one for the hard drive, one for the USB, how you can create the PST. So let's, for example, uh, create for um, the, the hard drive here. So uh, new new items, click on the actual, uh, this is what you need to find, the new items icon. You click on the little arrow, drop down menu comes, more items, then you go to Outlook data file. That is your PST file. So here we will click, I don't know, um, ZZ folder one, yeah? Uh, this will bring into your default, which is the Outlook PSD on your user account on your C drive, but I don't want to do that. I'll just go into documents and I'll just put it there, yeah? Outlook PS, Outlook data file, yeah? That's what it's there. You go okay, that will bring the folder for here. For an example, if you want to put it on a USB, you click on the same way. This drop down menu comes, more items, Outlook data file, yeah, and new volume. That is my USB. And I'll go uh, ZZ folder two. Yep. Yeah, and I'll go OK. So this is on my USB stick at the moment, and this is on my hard drive in the actual documents folder. So, for example, if we want to uh, move these folders, so Z1. Yeah, I click and drag and highlight the actual one which is on my PC and let go. And you'll have a pop-up menu saying, are you sure? You say yes. Yeah, and that will move it from the actual email account to there. Yeah, if you want to do it on the actual USB, you click again. I've got the Z2 folder that I've created. You click, drag and move it on to there. I'll just show you why I'm showing you the USB one for some reasons. People like to have it on an external stick that's no problem so that is all there and uh, i can just show you uh, where they are so here it is that's in my documents yeah that is the zz1 yeah which is uh, on the pc and the other one is on my external one my usb stick yeah you can see that there so there you are so for an example if you want to um, take your usb home yeah uh, don't just close the computer and pull the stick out because you might have a problem putting the stick back. You don't forget to put the stick back in, you open Outlook, then you're having error messages. I would do this. I would right click on the USB and close the folder. Yeah. Then you can pull out the USB. Much more safer, much more better. The one on the PC, it's fine because the hard drive is usually integrated in, in, in the actual computer hardware, so you don't need to worry about any errors. And that's all it's all about. So if you close it, open it again, put your stick back in, say for example, you put your stick back in and you just have the one for your PC. Oh, it's not appearing. So what you need to do is for to see the actual PST file that you have on your stick, you have to do the same way like you are creating a PST file to implement it on the actual uh, Outlook. So you click on the new items more outlook data file you go into your usb you click there once and you go okay 
and that will appear here. Now you can work again, but never forget to close this if you're taking your stick home. If you're not, if you're leaving it there at work or at home, you can leave it there, that's no problem. So anyway, um, that's all it is, plain and simple. So I hope you enjoyed this short video of how to create a PST file. Um, if you like the video, please thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more and new videos. Thank you very much for watching.